very critical because they couldn't stop him in that game. And they're so far first half. He's got four assists. Here's Jahad Thomas, draws the bump, count it, and the whole Coming up on two minutes left in the half. And with Ryan Jones on the bench, Noel, I'm sure will be for Binghamton. Jahad Thomas, 10 road record this year. Thomas pulls up for three and got it. Because this is right now for positioning. Week started was that loss to UMass Lowell when they gave up over 100 points. Active hands from ball team as they'd beaten two of the conferences best previously, Albany and UNH. Perry lobs over the shoulder. Thomas fade away. Left it low for Iverson and Maternal. Back on the Riverhawks in transition. Renardo Perry. To extend the game. Shot clock at eight. Thomas just inside the free throw line. Just a percentage short of his teammate. Correct. Jones is finishing the season very strong. Ray of sunshine for Coach Duquette to go into his second. Playing a little bit, and that gave Gary a wide open look at that rebound. What what a layup. Uh, the, the rookie of the year, but since then, those two have just gone at it, battle, and it's been a joy to watch. Jones inbounds to Jahad Thomas. He shoots up over. Coach Duquette leaving nothing to chance as it looks like he has his starting lineup still on the basketball floor. The Riverhawks don't necessarily. Good defense there. Excellent by Jahad Thomas. Nine minutes. You want to say he has. Okay. Ernie's brother. Great look. You want him shooting that every time. Right to the rim. Gets it to Thomas, trying to work from the free throw. Last couple times down, Binghamton has run that second defender at Jihad Thomas. Finds Renardo Perry, though. They've won 20 straight at home, the second longest in the country behind Cincinnati's 39. Bounce pass deflected away by Jihad Thomas. Curran trying to keep it alive for UMBC. They can't do it. And Jihad Thomas comes away with the rebound. It's 70-41. to 41. Nacarado gets Good look in transition. A little flat on that jumper. Couldn't get it to go. Reel it in. Riverhawks trying to get it back to a double-digit game. Here's Thomas. Attacks. Leave off for Gantz. And lays up to a three. No good. And Thomas down with the rebound. His 11th. Good Hard luck. Take a 31-3. Just too much. Good find. Up down low, but a block by Thomas as he's able to stuff Nate Rohr, a redshirt senior who's new into the game, and a back to game for Purdue to play right before the restart of the Big Ten. Ball being fed to Gantz. Now over to Thomas, who's been relatively quiet today, so to speak. Just nine points from him, though a quiet nine points, and just says. It's being covered by Cornish. Got to get the ball. Let him score it. That. There you go. It's one of two from the line. Petrus has 11. He's two below. Thomas, baseline to Gant. Game, just such a tough matchup. Thomas to the ground. He hits the deck hard. You see the patience and the poise offensively, Vermont. Such a veteran basketball team of energy. Rob Petty, that's what he does. Another bucket for the freshman. Just uh, again, that right when the play runs, when you when you shoot that, like they said, that doesn't count. Yeah, was seven points. The takeaway from Thomas. He's going two on two. Finds the trailer. That one's an easy finish. If that could light a spark. Can they stop this guy though? Thomas to Bennett, wide open. Now with 11 in the game. Harris for three, offensive oh, nice. rebound, nice touch. Lyles for three. Felt Thomas. Like you keep waiting for UMBC to get on that run that I talked about. This is the time, and again, they don't get back on Thomas. 12 seconds now with the shot clock. Thomas going in on Fleming. He's got the size disadvantage, but a. Jones to the corner. Jones took the return feed. The runner is off the mark. Jahad Thomas somehow between St. Tell and Petrus pulled down the board. Good rule change. Kamara looked to go back to Leisner. Thomas can do it all, partner. Defended and stole the ball right there. 
Perry open for three. Got and it. And got Thomas into the paint. He has it back from a pass inside and out. Now he wiggles in back to the basket, scores the hoop as a roll. Leader, especially with Troy's sideline. Here's the aforementioned John Thomas. Things a foul. Pat Quinn saying that just right now, and Wiles misses front end of the one and one. Wow. That, that's, that's bad. Been a problem overall for UABC. Wide open look for Matt Harris. Down. The possession here for the Riverhawks. Thomas is trying to go by Weatherington. Oh, Gets pretty. the baseline pretty much. Into the lane, but he is stopped by Renardo Perry. Stuffed, as a matter of fact. Now Thomas. Execution because you're targeting their best player defensively while you have him at 90 games in conference play since 2002, the start of that season. That's 55. Rating personality. Sit down for five minutes with Tom Brennan. You think you knew him for five years. Did not fall, but an offensive rebound. Matt Harris thought about it. There's no shot clock that. Now Thomas, after the outlet pass, gets it into Noel. He gets his pocket picked, but somehow back to Thomas. Now Harris for a wide open three pointer. Quinn saying that just right now, and Wiles misses front end of the one and one. Wow. That, that's, that's bad. Been a problem overall for UABC. Wide open look for Matt Harris. Thomas pulls up from the free throw. Covering uh, Jihad here. Looks for Jihad just to break him down, back him up, spread the floor, give him room to work. Thomas nearly lost the ball, then easily blows by Petri. No good. Looking for the lead here. Thomas. Good look. Harris for the lead. Got it. Side and exploit that big size advantage that they have on the Riverhawks. UMass Lowell's in the white, Hartford in the red, and we're underway at Saga Center. It's for him, and the most recent win over Stony Brook. John High off the glass. Thomas the rebound. Thomas and Lyles both in the top 10 and rebounding in the conference. Thomas nice look underneath for Tom. And Cambridge bounds away off the glass. The Riverhawks are on the run on the other side. And Good defense there. Excellent by Jahad Thomas. And a nice look up ahead for Jones. And that's and how competitive he is. And he does things like that. Does a lot of look smooth in for the Riverhawks. Jahad told Connor, get out of the way. Good. So as that man, John Thomas, who drives in, floater up and through. Kicks it into the corner. Three on the way. No good. Three Riverhawks there. Thomas ends up with it. Gears his way through the lane. Stops in a 16-0 run. That John Carroll dunk was the last basket for Hartford. 23-4 the score as Thomas scoops it up. And Little chip shot layup. Now this is a tough matchup when you have to now turn around and... Takes the handoff, wants three. That's off the side iron. Look at Jahad. Thomas grabs the rebound. Crosses over. Lowne switches back left hand. Over. Here's UMass Lowell underneath the hoop. Now Jahad Thomas up top. He'll take a three. Split the difference. Split the baby. Retrievers trailing by three after the old-fashioned three-point play by Thomas. There's Sherbert.